The United States stands as a technological titan, its military might unmatched on the global stage. At the heart of this power lies a sophisticated arsenal of missiles capable of striking with pinpoint accuracy across vast distances. These are not the lumbering ballistic missiles of the Cold War, but a new breed of weaponry, faster, stealthier, and infinitely more precise. Among them are the air-launched JASM and the sea-launched Tomahawk, marvels of modern engineering that can evade enemy defenses and cripple critical infrastructure. This technological edge, coupled with the United States' unrivaled network of military bases and its formidable fleet of strategic bombers, grants it a decisive advantage in any potential conflict. This dominance is not merely a matter of firepower, it's about the ability to project force across continents to strike at the very heart of an adversary's defences. The United States has invested heavily in stealth technology, enabling its missiles to penetrate even the most sophisticated air defence systems. This capability, coupled with the nation's advanced missile defence systems, creates a strategic imbalance, a reality that has not gone unnoticed by its rivals. Some analysts argue that this quiet revolution in military affairs has fundamentally altered the nature of warfare, giving the United States an unprecedented degree of military superiority. However, this technological prowess comes at a price. The very existence of such powerful weaponry raises profound questions about global stability. Critics argue that this overwhelming advantage could embolden the United States, making it more likely to resort to military force to achieve its foreign policy objectives. Furthermore, the proliferation of such advanced missile technology could spark a new arms race as other nations scramble to develop their own capabilities to counter the perceived American threat. The implications of this missile gap are far-reaching, extending beyond the realm of military strategy to encompass the delicate balance of power that underpins global security. As the United States continues to refine its missile technology, the world watches with a mixture of awe and apprehension, uncertain of what the future holds. The challenge for policymakers is to harness this technological edge responsibly, ensuring that it serves as a deterrent against aggression rather than a catalyst for conflict. The world exists in a perpetual state of delicate equilibrium, a complex web of alliances, rivalries and shifting power dynamics. The United States, with its unparalleled military might, plays a pivotal role in maintaining this balance. However, the very strength that makes America a guarantor of global security could also become a source of instability. The nation's overwhelming missile advantage, while intended to deter aggression, could inadvertently fuel a new arms race, undermining the very stability it seeks to preserve. Imagine a world where nations feel increasingly vulnerable, their security seemingly at the mercy of American technological prowess. This perceived vulnerability could drive them to take drastic measures, accelerating their own weapons programs, even pursuing potentially destabilizing technologies in a desperate bid to level the playing field. History is replete with examples of arms races spiraling out of control, leading to heightened tensions, miscalculations, and ultimately devastating conflicts. The danger is not merely theoretical. The decline of arms control agreements, once a cornerstone of global security architecture, has created a permissive environment for military build-up. Without the constraints of these treaties, nations are freer to pursue their own strategic interests, even if doing so undermines collective security. The Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces, INF Treaty for example, played a crucial role in limiting the proliferation of a particularly destabilizing class of missiles. Its demise in 2019 has raised concerns about a renewed arms race in Europe and Asia. Furthermore, the United States' focus on missile defense systems, while ostensibly defensive in nature, could be perceived by other nations as an attempt to neutralize their own deterrence. This perception could fuel mistrust and paranoia, leading to a dangerous action-reaction cycle that could escalate into conflict. In a world where miscalculation or misinterpretation could have catastrophic consequences, such dynamics are deeply troubling. For decades, arms control agreements served as crucial guardrails, limiting the proliferation of the most dangerous weapons and fostering a modicum of trust between potential adversaries. 
These agreements, painstakingly negotiated over years, reflected a shared understanding that true security lay not in unbridled military build-up, but in mutual restraint and cooperation. However, recent years have witnessed a steady erosion of this arms control architecture, raising concerns about a resurgence of great power competition and the specter of a new arms race. The demise of the INF Treaty, a landmark agreement that eliminated an entire class of ground-launched nuclear and conventional missiles, stands as a stark symbol of this troubling trend. The treaty, signed in 1987 by the United States and the Soviet Union, played a pivotal role in easing Cold War tensions and reducing the risk of nuclear conflict in Europe. Its collapse, triggered by accusations of non-compliance levelled by both sides, has removed a critical constraint on the development and deployment of intermediate-range missiles. This erosion of arms control is not limited to the ENF Treaty. The New START Treaty, the last remaining bilateral nuclear arms control agreement between the United States and Russia, faces an uncertain future. The treaty, which limits the number of deployed strategic nuclear warheads and delivery systems, is set to expire in 2026. While both sides have expressed a willingness to engage in dialogue about the treaty's future, differences remain over verification mechanisms and the potential inclusion of new types of weapons. The decline of arms control is driven by a confluence of factors, including shifting geopolitical realities, technological advancements, and a growing sense of mistrust among major powers. The rise of China, with its rapidly modernizing military and assertive foreign policy, has introduced new complexities into the global security landscape. Simultaneously, advancements in missile technology, particularly hypersonic weapons, have made traditional arms control measures more difficult to negotiate and verify. The world watches as China undergoes a remarkable transformation, shedding its image as a developing nation and emerging as a global power with growing economic and military might. This transformation has not gone unnoticed in Washington, where policymakers view China's rise with a mixture of admiration and apprehension. Of particular concern is China's rapidly expanding nuclear arsenal, a development that has profound implications for global security and the delicate balance of power. The Pentagon, in its annual report to Congress, has sounded the alarm about China's nuclear ambitions, warning that Beijing is on track to significantly increase the size and sophistication of its nuclear forces in the coming years. This build-up, according to US intelligence assessments, is driven by a desire to ensure the survivability of its nuclear deterrent against a potential US first strike and to project power on the global stage. While China's nuclear arsenal remains significantly smaller than those of the United States and Russia, its rapid modernization and expansion have raised concerns about a potential shift in the strategic balance. China's development of new delivery systems, including road mobile intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, and submarine launched ballistic missiles, SLBMs, has enhanced the survivability and range of its nuclear forces. Furthermore, China's pursuit of hypersonic glide vehicles, capable of maneuvering at high speeds and evading traditional missile defense systems, has added a new layer of complexity to the strategic equation. This nuclear buildup has not occurred in a vacuum. China's growing assertiveness in the South China Sea, its increasingly tense relationship with Taiwan, and its burgeoning military presence around the world have fueled concerns about its ultimate intentions. Some analysts argue that China's nuclear modernization is part of a broader strategy to challenge U.S. dominance in the Asia-Pacific region and reshape the global order. Join Intel Prime Channel membership today and get access to exclusive benefits, including early access to new videos, exclusive discounts on Intel products, behind-the-scenes content, live chat with me and other members. Other options will be soon available. Thank you for your support and for helping Intel Prime grow.